Okay, so this is assuming you already have basic sewing skills and you are trying to sew your point shoes. Uh, usually when you get point shoes, you buy ribbons with them as well. You have to cut them in half and then cut those halves in half again. So you have four equal length ribbons because two go on each shoe, right? All right, I think you figured that part out already without me having to tell you. Um, one of the best things to do is burn the edges of your ribbons, not sew them um, because the edges tend to fray. So this is one of the reasons why ballet dancers almost always have lighters handy. So if you're a smoker, let's hope you find a dancer. You shouldn't smoke though. All right, you cut your ribbons now. This is how you figure out how you cut your elastic. You put your shoe on, try to uh, pull the drawstring so you know how tight your shoe is gonna be fitting around your foot. And uh, I cannot stress this enough, elastic goes around the heel. Elastic is designed to keep the heel on your shoe. I can't tell you how many times I've had students sew elastic over the metatarsal. That does nothing. Your shoe is just going to slip off. So you cut your elastic, and when you sew it, try to sew it. Um, I sew mine pretty close to the back of the heel. There's a seam that runs down the middle of the back of the heel of the shoe. Um, when I sew my elastics, I they're pretty close to the back. It ensures that the heel stays up and doesn't slip off, especially if you're rolling through your point shoe or like flexing your foot, it's not gonna like pop off. I sew my elastics on the outside. Some people sew them on the inside of the shoe. It really doesn't matter. My ribbons, however, I typically sew on the inside. Here's the trick. Fold the heel of the shoe over. It makes almost like a flat line across the shoe. You line up your ribbon with that fold of the shoe. See, so it's almost like a straight line coming out from your shoe. That's where you sew your ribbon. So when the time comes to cut your ribbons and tie your ribbons and stuff, when you tie your ribbons, you should tie them low. Don't go all the way up your calf. Kids, for some reason, like to do it like Barbie and tie all the way up your calf. That's dumb. Don't do it. You should always have enough ribbon to tie a double knot on the inside of your ankle. And then what I like to do is if I have leftover ribbon after I've tied this double knot, I cut it even a little shorter so that I can tuck it in easily. I don't have a long, big piece of ribbon hanging out, popping out, dangling out. Um, and then I'll eventually burn that other edge too, but you know, you should always have a double knot inside of your ankle, tuck it in.